Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and uh, we're still going strong in uh, the side quests, the many, many side quests of this DLC. Because I'm actually quite surprised at uh, how many side quests there actually are in this DLC, especially if you compare it to uh, Hearts of Stone. There were a lot less in that one, unless I might have missed a few. Uh, if that's the case, please let me know in the comments and I will uh, make sure we'll do those as well. But uh, today we're going to do another Witcher contract, the Tufo monster. We're at the Tufo vineyard and uh, we need to talk to the poster of the notice as usual. But first I want to do something else. Because I bought a special kind of potion, a potion of clearance which returns all ability points spent to develop abilities to the available pool so you can redistribute them. We're going to do that and then I'm going to uh, redistribute my uh, ability points to better suit our needs at the moment. So here we go. Consume that. And now all our ability points are back. Uh, well, unspent. So if we check the character screen, there we go. We have 69 ability points available. So I'm going to give myself a minute to uh, set this up and I'll get back to you in a second. So there we go. Everything spent again. We have delusion. So uh, we uh, can have extra dialogue options. So that's uh, a given that we're going to take that. Then we have puppets so that we can uh, make an enemy an ally for a brief moment. The active shield mode of Quen. And then we have these two abilities that we can add because of the mutations. I'm going to check that out in a minute. Uh, melt armor of course which uh, reduces the armor of an enemy if you use Igni. Then the sustained glyphs which just increases the duration of the, uh, the Urden signs. And then we have magic trap which will allow us to replace one of those longer lasting urban traps which do damage and destroy projectiles quen intensity increase and then domination which is new uh, this will allow us to influence two opponents at the same time by axie and combat which is really nice then we have poison blades we had this one before as well so oil applied to blades give a 15 percent chance of poisoning the target on each hit and the chance is greater the higher the level of oil is used then we have over here on the left Muscle memory, fast attack damage is increased by 25%. Arrow deflection, which will be uh, handy to deflect arrows permanently now. Precise blows, which increases the uh, critical hit damage by 75%, which is going to be huge with Aaron died, uh, which is very nice. And then we do the same thing for the heavy attacks. The strong attacks also uh, have a 75% critical hit damage increase. And then we have fleet footed, which will make us invincible while dodging. There we go. And then we have the mutations. I went with, apparently you can only choose one of the three to go uh, with. So I accidentally activated this one as well, Deadly Counter, but we're not using that at the moment. So, Magic Sensibility, Science can deal critical hits, we did have that already. Then the Piercing Cold, uh, well I kind of was forced to use that. Um, I'm just not going to really use that in uh, art at the moment. But it still, it, still, it still happens when you use art, so we can still freeze enemies. And then of course the very, very cool one, Conductors of Magic. When drawn, Magic Unique and Witcher Swords deal increase, uh, increase sign damage dealt by 50% of their own damage dealt so far. So let's activate that one. And that uh, turns that actually yellow for some reason. Oh, so I can only activate one mutation at a time. So yeah, yeah, then I'm going to go with that one. Because if I activate this one, yeah, okay. There we go. Let's go back. Oh, and that, of course, removes my uh, ability. I'm just going to put those back and I'll see you back outside of the menus. There we go. That's uh, a nice nice uh, upgrade for our abilities. And let's go to the 2-4 vineyard. And, uh, well, we're already at the vineyard. But let's talk to the poster of the notice. So there be a question mark over here as I well. But it seems to be down below. Spot. So never mind that, let's go inside this inn, I suppose, or is it someone outside? There we go, Monsieur de Bourbeau. Hello, sir, how can we help you? Yeah, what is it? Now, why does one summon a witcher, hmm? To inquire about the gossip currently flowing about the court? I have a problem with a beast. Yeah, take it easy, man. Ah, you I understand. To notice? Go on, then, spit it out. What's it about? Uh, uh, uh. A lot First, of aggression here. Witcher, we must establish ground rules. 
Given the vast difference in our respective social positions, I'm sorry to say I take umbrage at the familiar tone you take. I expect deference. I expect you to address me as Sir, or better yet, as Monsieur de Bourbeau. Well, that was the name uh, that was above your head, so be back later if I feel like it. Fine, let's get to the point, Monsieur. Fine, Monsieur de Bourbeau. The Bourbeau. <laughs> the emphasis falls on the last syllable. The Bourbeau. Bourbeau. Mm -hmm. See, now I'd rather emphasize something else. Tell me what this is about, Monsieur, or I'll change my mind and go. Nautlings and their manners. Very well. Let us get this over with. Something has infested my vineyard. I want to have a talk about your Wait, manners, by the way. Go prepare my something oil, then. I beg your pardon? Need more information than that. Where was this something seen? Any witnesses? Bodies to examine? Therein lies the rub. None has seen the beast. We've only heard signs of its presence. A strange scratching and shrieks. Neither are there any corpses to inspect. Men simply disappear without a trace. That's odd. Um, so the noises, where do they come from? Noises Maybe give us mentioned. a location to start where our investigation. From? Well, everywhere. Everywhere? But they're most clearly audible in the wine cellar. So it's going to be and centipedes the then. must dwell underground. Hmm. When are the noises loudest? In the night, just as they were years ago, when the buildings quaked. Another expert agreed to look into the matter then, but was never thereafter seen nor heard of. Okay, and the missing man? Who's disappeared, if you don't mind my asking? Mm, most recently some farmhand, I believe. Despite the vast difference in your social statuses, do you perchance remember the farmhand's name, monsieur? No. You must speak to my wife. She has more collegial relations with this household help. She's away at the moment visiting her mother, but should return forthwith. You are a oh, really big asshole, aren't you? Now tell me, will you take the contract? Yay or nay? Uh, yay. But first let's talk about my Depends. pay. What kind of reward are we talking about? Uh, ooh. Nice. Well, since his social status is that high, let's go for a high number. Mm. There we go. Fine. Seems I must take the loss. Agreed. Which loss? You'll probably gain a profit from me killing those creatures, I suppose, from your uh, very profitable vineyard. Fine, I'll do it. Need to look around here first, then I'll want to talk to Madame de Bourbeau. Very well. I shall inform you once she has returned. Meanwhile, the key to the cellar. Just... Whatever you do, please do not disturb the wine barrels. How would I disturb them? Am I gonna be too loud? Or just... Bumping into them, so go to the cellars after dark. I dreamt I was so let's uh, take a little nap here uh, next to the fence. Meditation. And yeah, let's go to midnight. That should take care of everything, I suppose. Yeah, it's dark and there's a cat running around. She's gonna be mad at me probably. Yeah, there we go. They always do that. They always uh, hate Gerald. Unlock. There we go. Now. Is there something I can loot here? Ooh. There we go. Two for vineyard work schedule. That might be interesting. This past half fortnight, I was forced to reassign three workmen to cleaning up the damage caused by the Earth's strange tremblings. A fact which significantly slowed work on the vines. Sophie remains in confinement. I will not be able to return to work for some time. And later, her effectiveness will be hindered by the presence of the child. Jean-Luc did not even report for work today, with no warning and no excuse. When he finally does show, I shall have to have a serious talk with him. Okay, so we already see the noise. Uh, so there's a pregnant woman working here apparently, and somebody that probably disappeared down here in the cellars. Um, oh, what's this? Shattered dishes, got knocked off the shelf somehow. Shaken off, maybe? Yeah, probably because of the tremblings. There seems to be noise coming from over here. Rats. Not known to kidnap farmhands. Okay, then never mind. Let's grab some more wine and food, apparently. And another formula for the black armor. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, everything is shaking. Stock taking summary. The last tremors damaged several bottles stand, bottle stands and knocked over several wine barrels whose subsequent rolling wreaked further havoc. Among the losses, 12 bottles, blah 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 blah, in addition two barrels of wine in the maturing process burst and spilled. The losses following this tremor proved greater than those after the previous one. These tremors shall be the ruin of me. So yeah, he was talking about taking a loss, but I don't think he will be taking a loss if I fix this. Ooh. Let's do this. A tunnel. Mm. Oh, yes indeed a tunnel. Where does this go? Let's go back to Quen. Can finally see something. Okay, where where the hell? Where the hell did I get that torch? I don't know where I got that torch though. Seems to be ooh. Holy shit, this goes deep. Hello? Kiki Moors. Uh, let's get with insect oil. There we go. Kiki Moors. Hello. Oh, I'm I'm taking damage here. Holy shit! Hello. Seriously, active shield. Poisoned immediately. Okay then, let's clear that toxicity for a second. Those were aggressive sons of bitches. There we go, white honey and everything fixed again. Let's take their loot. There weren't too many of them, but for some reason those guys were really, really aggressive. Anything else? This can't be the end of the quest, right? So the Kikimors won't be causing the, the tunnels and probably won't even make that much of a tremor. There we go, let's pull you up. There's nothing over there anymore. Seems to be coming from another direction. This goes down as well. So that's to... Oh. What? Okay, hi. There we go. That's... Ooh. The extra damage from the critical hits is uh, coming in hard. Goes on and on this tunnel. Look at that! I just cleave through them like. No, stop it! Stop! Stop the poison! He stop the toxicity. Jesus Christ, that's gonna cut into my supplies a bit, but yeah, I have plenty of uh, supplies left though. Uh, so we could go higher again. And I think lower is probably the best. Yeah, there we go. God damn it, he called a hit it. He's hitting me from higher up. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Okay, so there's a skeleton over here. So someone made it over here. Ashes and florence. Don't really need that. So that's not... Still not where we need to be. I still, I'm still losing health. Uh, white honey. There we go. Thank you for that. Uh, well, I suppose I'm going to get back up here Should then. Be able to break through. Okay. Damn it, it's getting away. Where the hell? The two footballs there. Where are you going? Okay. Oh shit. Lots of cookie mores. Geralt, Geralt, do something. Thank you. Holy shit balls! Get out, Jesus! So because of the toxicity, I can't really use any potions. 
Oh shit, Jesus. Take it easy. Stop moving in a direction I don't want you to move. Wow. Well, that was something more interesting by the minute. Damn it. Young could hatch any minute. Okay. Bird, baby bird. Let's go with Ferdo. Let's burn these suckers down. Damn it. Young could hatch any minute. Yeah, that's that's why I'm burning everything, Geralt. Um Good loot the big one. And apparently this isn't the end yet. Uh are there more? More eggs? Don't see any other eggs. No kicky more duck this. Tunnels are the work of something much bigger. Something with heavy, wide claws. Okay, so are you you telling me that we're still not done then, Geralt? Is that? Yeah, that's... There we go, there's more eggs over here. Last one. Got it? Yeah, okay. So there was a bit of another tunnel over here, and we could burn all those eggs in here as well. So, there's something bigger, according to Geralt's uh, astute observation, there's something bigger that's making these tunnels, although this doesn't look like a tunnel I can even enter. So, where didn't I go yet? In here? Looks like it. No wait, this is where we came from, right? Yeah, this is where we came from, so we need to go in here. Cracked Kiki more eggs. Something's been feeding on them. Oh, seriously? I just needed to examine those broken eggs, apparently. That took me a while. I spent... A lot of time looking for something else. Uh, so let's go back in this tunnel, apparently, and now there's a crack in the Water floor. Water coursing. Underground stream. Hmm. Monster I'm looking for lives underground, digs tunnels, feeds on kikimores, and is big. Very big. Won't learn anything else here. Time to go back to the surface. Ah, so now I need to go back to the surface. Okay, return to the surface and talk to the owner. So i uh, see you guys back up there in a second. There we go. Sacre bleu. That was completely wrong in the subtitles. What over is there, the brother. meaning of this? I'm paying you to slay a monster, not demolish my property. Property's falling apart on its own, what with all the tunnels under it. I'd fill those in soon if you don't want your building to collapse. Tunnels? Fiddle my farm, how did tunnels appear down there? Something, Something big, died. apparently. A large creature. Also killed a few kiki moors down there and destroyed their eggs. Consider it a half favor. Won't cost you much. Kiki more eggs. Yes, of course. Good work. Indeed, a reward is due. Oh, well, thank you. Didn't even ask for that. <clears throat> That's Madame de Sophie. Bordeaux, I presume. No, Madame de Bordeaux. Here you know something about the missing farmhand. Jean Luc. Yes, we went to examine this year's seedlings. Something had been nibbling at them. Then we heard these odd noises. Jean Luc went to reconnoiter and never returned. I don't think a Frenchman would say it like that. Reconnoite. But hey, so that's uh, doing some reconnaissance, obviously. Where did you see him last exactly, or does he have any distinguishing marks? Yeah, where did you see him last? Where did you last see Jean Luc, madame? Exactly. Jean Luc, madame? In, in the fields uh, north of here, uh, by the wood. New seedlings there? I was under the distinct impression we had planted them all on the south slope. Almost all, my dear. I requested that some be planted to the north, by the grove. Just the remainders. Or uh, maybe Jean-Luc was planting his seeds somewhere else, if you know what I'm saying. So, does he have any distinguishing Madame, marks? Could you describe Jean-Luc? Tall, exceedingly well built. Oh, there we go. Hair black as pitch. Dear, concentrate. <laughs> there is not a peasant that is not well built. They work in the fields all day. He means scars, birthmarks, that sort of thing. Mm, then none, I suppose. But he did wear a pendant around his neck. 
A silver one. Silver jewelry on a farmhand? It was a gift, I believe. Or that is what he claimed. Hmm. Should be enough to go on. Then what are you fritting round here for? Get to work! So she's having an affair with that Jean-Luc, right? That was pretty obvious. Uh, let's go back outside. Perhaps I and uh, take a look at where Jean-Luc was last seen. Won't take too long, I think. Because I'm really, really curious about what that 2-4 monster actually is. Because I would think it's a giant centipede, but maybe it's a giant, giant centipede. And I'm just waving that torch in between those vines here. So, here. That is not used for seedlings. They were having a picnic down here. Bread's really stale. Been here a while. And cups, Geralt. Don't, don't forget about the cups. And this is probably where their uh, carpet was lying. Blanket was laid out Blanket. here. Blanket. And then, ooh, <laughs> two pairs of footsteps. Footprints, two sets. And then they went uh, about Chikawawa in the, in the vi vineyard. Let's follow those. Oh, one, one goes left, one goes right. Track split. Woman turned back here. Man kept going. So wait, is this turning back or is that turning back? I'm gonna suppose this is not turning back. Uh, but the... wait. It stops here, so it must be the other track then. Never mind, never mind, never mind, okay. Ooh, what's this? Piece of carapace, horned grey shell. Uh-oh. So that's a bit of the... the height of the monster. Ooh, large scratch marks. Oh, marks. Straight, dull, perfect for digging. Hmm. Now what is this? Large, deep tracks. Wait. So that's not not the centipede either. Um, oh Felled trees. Gold. As if something rolled over them. So a shale bar. Oh no, the shale bar, shit. Only they dig tunnels and move like that. Okay. Uh, let me save first. There we go, because I think there's something over there. Follow the monster's tracks using your... I uh, uh, don't think I need to follow the monster tracks. There's something underneath here. There we go, that's one Kikimore done. Don't think I really need to mess with the Kikimores, right? So where are the monster tracks? So he rolled around in here and then... Moved further over this way, I suppose. Now we have an entrance to a cave, so... Is it in there? No, it's not at all. Not at all. Oh, it's in this cave. Never mind. Drop down. Yeah, drops to that cave. Down. Drop <gasps> down. Let's do these thingies. Or a Kalkaboo. And a dead guy. Uh, blunt pickaxe and meteorite axe. Yeah, thank you for that. And now, search the cave, so I could probably blast this open. There we go. And then there's stuff here. Warning. Warning, buildings around here have been collapsing because of monsters dug tunnels all over the place. Not sure yet what kind of beast it is, don't come after me. And don't wipe my symbols off the walls because I need them to find my way out. Junod of Belhaven. Left his school symbol on the wall. Oh. Clever. Gotta keep a lookout for more. So, are there any of the diagrams in here then? No, okay, there aren't. So that's for the other quest, for the Grandmaster Ursine gear. But where is the Shalemar? So there's a dead guy over here as well. Not anything of interest. Uh, I'm going the wrong way, probably. More gold. So I need to check out... What do I need to check out then? Because there is only one key. Oh. Um, I'm gonna take that back. Because there's a whole side area here as well. Oh. Oh shit. Hi. 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 What happened? What happened? Set the beats. Set the beats. Set the beats. Set the beats. Set the beats.
Oh, where did he go? There we go. And there he goes. So that's centipede. So we had Kiki Moors and now we have centipedes. Great. Great. And then we're going to have to end it with a shale mar. This is going to be one hell of an episode. Um, let's see. Let's go further into the cave, I suppose. Hello, maybe save again. There we go. There's a little side route over here. No diagrams just yet, which is good, because I want to do that in a separate episode. Well, this one, so if I find any, I'm going to leave them right there. So we clearly scratched the walls over Claw here. Marks. Straight, dull, perfect for digging. Yeah, yeah, I, I got that already. Okay, so I have to just follow them around. Shailmar's close. Yeah, and there we have the bear sign, so... I'm going to suppose... What's this? Why is there this rock? Highlighted. Droppings. Ah, okay. Drops it's not a rock. It's a shit. There we go. So let's go even deeper, I suppose. I saw the bear mark on the wall over there, so... If you're wondering if I did miss that. And this is probably the arena. Oh, shit balls. I think he's coming. And there we go, Shale Mars. Uh, I never actually checked the bestiary entry. So the Earth's innards are home to mighty strange and fearsome beasts. Were they ever to decide to ramble up to the surface, we'd all be gutted the very first day of the invasion. Shale Mars spent most of their lives deep on the ground, having no contact with the world up above. At times, however, a Shale Mars will dig its way to the surface and devour any men within its reach. Some Shale Mars also burrow tunnels close to the surface, collapsing buildings and causing tremors in the process. Since shale mars are blind, they find their way by sensing vibration and listening for sounds. Thus the best tactic when fighting such a monster is to hurl something heavy or noisy against a nearby boulder or wall, then pray silently that the beast will roll towards the sound and knock itself upon knock itself out upon striking into the obstacle. Huh. That's actually a good idea. So relic oil and ard. Let's go with the relic oil at least. Cursed oil, so that is relic oil. Shalmar's lair, gotta be. Okay. Nice victims here. Pretty fresh, some of them. Gonna have to brew some bait. Need the blood of a recent victim and some of the mushrooms that grow here. Okay, so here we have victims. Partly decayed, partly eaten. Been lying here a while. So not fresh enough, probably. This guy. Fresh corpse. There we go. Must be Jean-Luc. Crushed ribs, cracked skull. Shalmar did this. No two ways about it. There we have the silver necklace as well, so let's take that as well. A lock of hair inside. Same color as Madame de Bourbeau's. There we go. So they were having an affair. So brew Shalmar bait. Uh, Shalmar bait, so just one of a few of the mushrooms and the human blood. And... There we go, Shalmar bait complete. Uh, spill it within the lair. Somewhere near an air current, so the scent spreads throughout the cave. So let's put a few of it over here. There we go. Ugh, that stench. Ooh, gold diamond ring on that corpse. And then copper ore. Let's drop some of this here. Let's drop it over here. And then the last spot, here we go. Shale Mar will be here any minute. There we go. Okay. We've been working towards this for a while now. But it's coming. It is really coming. Oh shit, this is gonna hurt. Where are you? There it is. Ooh, wow, it's red. That looks amazing and terrifying at the same time. Come Here on. we go. Show me
So if I just slap it over here, does it come to the north? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go, okay. So it's poisoned, which is good already. Okay. It's whacking itself into the wall. Now he's gonna do that whirlwind attack, if I'm not mistaken. Is there stuff dropping from the ceiling? Oh, that was too close. Can I, can I get it? Oh, wow, okay. Did he just simply roll to the side? Oh, wow, yeah, he's not vulnerable if you... Uh, I'm gonna have to keep my distance and roll out of the way. So now he bumped. What's he doing? What's he doing? Is he sh okay, he's blocking my attacks. I think I got him. There we go. Woo! That was pretty tough, but the poisoning did its work there. Thank God for poison blades. Get my reward. Holy shit, that was tough. Okay, but pretty nice set of loot. And then, of course, it's a head. No animation? Yeah, there we go. Go ahead, Geralt. Sploosh. Head taken. Are we gonna go? Oh, do I need to get back up myself? Oh, for, for Christ's sake. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a minute. Back to uh, the surface. Ooh, these guys actually have loot. There we go. But I guess I'll see you guys in a minute back up the, uh, well, on the surface. So we're back at the vineyard. I'm gonna try and make my way inside wait wasn't this the, the door i needed to go into oh they're probably in the cellar oh that was a bit high that was a bit high but apparently didn't take any damage so they're still in the cellar after all this time fix it by the ah, end okay. of the day there we go monsieur de bobo can we talk you'd best be bearing good news get on with it well, um, <laughs> Madame de Bourbeau and the farmhand, something going on there. But first, monster's dead. Got rid of the beast that was giving you trouble. It was a Shelmar. Sh Shelmar? Whatever could that be? Mm, kind of like a cross between a mole and a caterpillar. Just big as a barn. <sighs> uh huh? Well, Master Witcher, you make a poor first impression, but ultimately proved your worth. There. Uh, thank You're you, rewarded. I suppose. Don't know if that was a compliment or not. 320 experience points Jean might Luke. stick us Afraid over there. Dead. Sorry. Who? Oh, him. Trivial as losses go. I shall soon find another to take his place. I think you're gonna right. ha have all, uh, something he is else coming. Peasant, not a monsieur de blah, blue blah. So long. No, wait, wait, wait. I wanna confront them. I wanna confront them with the fact that his wife is sleeping with the farmhand. Well, was sleeping with the farmhand. Can I, can I go back? Our business. That's you, sir. Our business. Oh. That's you, sir. Oh. Our business. Oh, you, sir. damn it. Can I find the wife, then? I want to see if I can find the wife. So give me a second. Oh, there we go. Madame de Bourbon. Maybe I can talk to her. Yes, I knew it. Have you... Have you found him? More story. Yes, here, his locket. As we found that as well. Found this. Jean-Luc? I'm sorry, ma'am. Sorry. Really, I am. 
lock of hair inside. It's yours, isn't it? Yes. Jean-Luc and I... Well, I'm certain you've pieced it together already. Yeah, your husband is a son I of a bitch and you sold comfort with another man. For avenging him. Please, it's terribly modest, I know, but you must take this reward. My husband is certain to be miserly with his goat. Now, if I may... Oh, thank you. I'd like to be alone. Bit of a bonus there. That was cool, because that was not indicated by the quest, so... Kind of nice of them to add that detail. Oh, poor woman. Still stuck with that uh, terrible husband of hers. But hey, I think that concludes the quest. Well, the, the quest was already concluded, but... Uh, that was uh, the Tofu contract, the Tofu monster. The Tofu monster? Tofu is something else. The Tofu monster. And look at Beauclair from over here. That looks amazing. But, a uh, bit of a longer episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But uh, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really, really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye!